All right, as promised in class today or yesterday, I'm going to make a video showing you guys how to fill out a sample graphic organizer for a CER. Um, this will be what we use for the first few CERs that we do to help you guys um, kind of organize your thoughts and get used to writing CERs at the high school level. Um, we watched the Doritos commercial in class. If you did not get a chance to watch the Doritos commercial in class, um, there is a link right here under Doritos commercial and you can watch it. So in class, most students were able to make the claim that the dog killed and buried the cat. The question was, what happened to the cat? Remember, a claim should be one sentence. It should answer the question. It shouldn't include any reasoning or explanation. It just answers the question. So then in class, we talked about how we skip the reasoning section for now, and we go down to evidence. And some evidence that we came up with in class was the dog had the same collar that the cat was wearing in the missing poster, okay? If my spelling, you guys all know I'm not a great speller. So the dog had the same collar that the cat was wearing in the missing collar, in the missing poster. And we can even what, um, add a little bit more to that because we knew that he was in the dirt with the same collar, right? So the dog was in the dirt with the same collar as the missing poster. Um, the next one that you guys talked about is the cat is in fact missing. And there is a missing poster on the pole, which is pretty common to see if there is an animal that has gone missing. Um, let me make this a little bit bigger. Okay, the third piece of evidence that you guys talked about, that most people talked about, was the dog gave the man chips with a note that said, I think it was spelled N-U-T-H-I-N. -N. You didn't see nothing, because he's a dog and he doesn't really know how to spell, I guess. <laughs> um, but these are the three pieces of evidence. Now our job is to link those evidence, pieces of evidences to the claim with reasoning. Why is it important that we saw the dog in the dirt with the same collar that what the cat was wearing in the missing poster, okay? Our claim is that the dog killed and buried the cat. So this could be evidence about the burying. So we could say this proves that the collar belonged to the cat and the dog was trying to bury it, right? Um, we can even go so far as to say people often try and hide evidence. when they are guilty. These are things that we know, right? Not necessarily scientific principles, but for the purpose of this exercise, they are kind of human principles. The next piece of evidence that we have is that the cat is missing and there's a missing poster on the pole. So if we think the dog killed and buried the cat, this means, I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger, Someone is missing the cat. And the cat's name was Fluffy. 
Okay, so someone's missing the cat Fluffy. We have a missing cat. And if the cat is missing and we have this evidence over here, that could link the evidence with reasoning. Someone is missing the cat Fluffy. This also comes into play later in the commercial when we hear the woman ask about the cat. Um, the dog, the last piece of evidence is that the dog gave the man chips with a, sign, a note that says, you didn't see nothing. So I know a lot of you guys were able to use this word in class. Um, today was bribe. So this proves that the dog was trying to bribe the man so he wouldn't So we would not say anything about seeing the dog burying the collar. Okay, and then we talked about how it went even further in that when the man ran out of chips, the dog um, was right there when the when the woman asked about the cat. The dog was right there with more chips, like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So when you're doing a CER, you want to make a claim. And sometimes you can even make the claim after you get your evidence. But your evidence, it really is important to support why you make a claim that the dog killed and buried the cat. Okay? So our evidence really supports that the dog buried the cat. I don't know that there's a whole lot of evidence to support that the dog killed the cat. Um, you guys also had some very interesting theories in class, and um, yeah, it might be a little bit up for debate what actually happened, but for our purposes, our answer to the question, what happened to the cat, was that the dog killed and buried the cat. Hopefully this helps you guys with your CER formatting for your homework this weekend.